Natasha Farm was stayed up by myself and my wife, Nancy, named after our three children, Bradley, Natasha and Alicia. We've been operating for about 18 years. We're located at Applethorpe, which is about two and a half hours southeast of Brisbane on the Queensland New South Wales border. The main part of our operation is the bean operation, uh, which we grow uh, for Woolworths fresh market beans and the domestic market. And uh, the other part of the operation is the hydroponics, which is uh, grown exclusively for Woolworths. We've been supplying Woolworths for approximately 20 years. We supply all the Asian veg, shallots and baby cows to Woolworths. We commenced growing hydroponically because we were in the grip of a major drought and we could grow a lot of product in a very intensive area with limited amounts of water. The hydroponic farm allows us to produce high quality food because we're not governed by the seasonal weather conditions, which I think is important to the consumers. You can, you can rest assured she's got high quality product on a shelf 52 weeks a year. From transplanting to harvest is approximately six weeks and within 24 hours we can have them off the farm and into the Woolworths distribution centre. And then we're planting back in the same channel within 24 hours or 48 hours, we're back in straight in. This system is called an NFT system, which is where the water is recirculated. So basically the water is pumped through the system, runs into these channels and then runs out the end and goes back to our holding tanks and we just keep recycling the water all the time, pumped around. We graded all the slopes to get the right angles, about a 3% slope. So the water would run down our channels and go back to our recirculating tanks. Once the water runs down the channels back to our holding tanks, we've We've got machines that actually control the EC levels, which is um, electric conductivity, and our pHs. Nutrients are available in the water, and this is controlled by machines that control their fertiliser levels in the water. The Woolworths funding will be used to install a 90,000 litre storage tank, where our wastewater will be pumped into. From there it'll be treated, which will give us the option to either use it in our existing hydroponic system or be pumped onto our field grown crops. At the moment, the hydroponic water is being just run to, run to waste into an irrigation storage dam. The project allows us to treat and recycle water that previously wasn't used. The water saving that is accomplished by in the project is phenomenal because we're reusing this water two and three times over and over. With a with small amount of water, we're growing a lot of product. Once we've determined what nutrients are left in our recycled water, we can then work out what our fertiliser program be used for our field grown crops. We, we believe a huge saving in our fertiliser costs. The project allows us to be more sustainable because of the rising input costs. Uh, allows us to reuse all our fertiliser that we, that we traditionally would have gone waste in a downstream operation, along with seven megalitres of water. By retreating the water, uh, we will pr approximately save probably anywhere up to 30-40% of our fertiliser bills. The project can benefit other farmers. They can realise that with a limited amount of water, what can be achieved, uh, how recycled water can then be used in, in, in a different application, perhaps into field grown crops. The project allows us to use the water more efficiently with limited water supplies in Australia and allows us to produce a fresh product for Woolworths and ultimately the consumer will benefit.